Hello guys, today we are going to give the best education possible to our children. So we are going to talk about guardians, tutors and childhood traits. The first important aspect that you must have into consideration is that your education focus should match your childhood trait. So what's the education focus? If you press this button here, you can select one of the education focus and for example if you choose stewardship it means that you want your kid to be specialized into stewardship and so on and what's the childhood trait well when your children get the age of three years old they get a childhood trait in this case this one curious and this trait is one of a list of five and I'm going to show you right now the list as I was saying the childhood traits when your kid reaches three years old could get one will get one of these five traits and for example if he is or she is bossy she will be good at martial and stewardship but very bad at diplomacy so you must always pick one of these to learning focus that matches your actual childhood trait. So in our example she's curious and that means that she loves diplomacy and learning and she hates martial. So if we match what she likes with her focus that means that will she will gain points much much faster and if we match her focus with what she dislikes, she will learn much, much slower. The process of calculating the points that your student is going to get is very complex, but fortunately we have a table that helps us a lot. The most important aspect for our guardian is that he should be a genius, if not intelligent or at least quick and also try to get the trait shrewd is very important so genius and shrewd could be at the same time that is great and then after that the primary skill of the tutor should match should be that that is important it is the one that they are for example if we are studying diplomacy the the number that counts is the diplomacy of our guardian and for example if you are studying diplomacy martial is useless stewardship is useless intrigue is useless and then learning always help but half the main the main focus so if the focus is diplomacy this is multiplied by one and this one is multiplied by 0.5 but to give you an example we have these two cases and both tutors give both both guardians give the same points to the student and that is because the genius is as powerful as 25 points in diplomacy this this student is going to study diplomacy and the weight of genius is equivalent to a tutor with 30 so we would like to have is a genius with shrewd if possible and then we should sort our possible guardians by the desired focus that we our child is studying. Another important aspect that we should have into consideration is that our student could inherit traits from the guardian. So take a look very careful at the traits that your guardian has because your kid could inherit those traits. Also the wife of the tutor counts if she has the trait patronage it also helps and if there is a university in the country where your tutor is located you will get a massive bonus. Also very important there is a cultural tradition that is called storytellers and the guardians from this culture will teach your kids more points also another tradition important it's called northern stories that gives your guardian more power to teach you more your child's more points and so let's check which cultures have these traditions 
If you check in the wiki, you will find that several cultures have the storyteller traditions, like the Breton, Cor Cornish, Norse, and so on. I will leave you the link to the wiki so you can check by yourself. And now we are going to find the perfect guardian. So finally, how to get the perfect tutor? We press the sticky or the character finders and we add here the filter genius. Genie. And we make sure that we select all here are in range. Inside our diplomatic range. We can also try shrewd and no matches. So we are going to delete should and we have a lot. Let's say that we want a master stewardship and we have a genius with 15 points or we want for example a master in learning and this could be one of the best tutor but we should check these cultures if one of these has storytellers I don't recall but usually at the start of the game there are several Norse and Norse have storytellers so they are usually very good as guardians but fortunately I almost decimated the Norse so this is what we actually have now and let's say that we, you want to try it's also in our family you want to try this guardian that is not in our family and you right click you go here to more and in this case no option so we try to with the next one one more probably no offer ward so you pick here your children in this case and you check in the attributes and you select him and down here you can choose if you want to change culture and faith this is useful for changing the culture of your nation and that's all you accept and this is going to be your new guardian also usually good guardians are the popes why because the this makes you make them very happy they are all, all usually very good at learning 20 points but they are not a genius in this case but this will make them very happy with you and they will give you a lot of money for that so consider send some of your kids to the Pope and your personal hair to a genius thanks for watching if you find this information useful you can give a like and a comment that will help me a lot thanks for watching bye bye